Hey guys, it's your girl, the real SRT. I'm back again. And I wanted y'all to know this. Please know this. These narcissistic dogs will pursue you into death. Okay. When uh when we look in the Bible and we see that the devil still wanted Moses' body even after his death. Okay. That's what I want you to know about these narcissistic dogs. They are on assignment from their daddy, the devil, to pursue you and destroy you. Okay. You better know that. You better know that. And so you need to be ready. <laughs> you need to be ready. Okay. But this is, this is nothing that's going to just go away. Okay, this is this. They're here. Okay, they are here. These demonic dogs are here and they plan is to pursue you into death. All right. That's their plan. That's their mission. And that's your their goal. Okay. And that's their goal by any means necessary. However, they have to do it. Their mission is to steal, kill and destroy and you better know if they can just get to the kill part first oh my goodness if they can just go ahead and take you out without really having to put in any work effort or energy oh honey that will be their first choice that will be their first choice and some of these dogs they even try to bring people so low so low to where they they even kill themselves Okay, commit suicide. These are some of your, your your dogs and your demons that's behind suicide. When you hear people committing suicide, sometimes they have encountered these narcissistic dogs, okay, and have succumbed to them and their evil tactic to snuff out their life and prevent them from fulfilling their purpose within this earth. The purpose that God put them here on this earth to do. That's their mission is to stop you. To stop you from being able to spread the gospel also of Jesus Christ. Okay. These dogs are put in place to hinder, stop, and block you. And even abort your purpose altogether if they can. I'm just letting you know. This is what they're here to do, is to work, plot, and plan against you, sabotage you in any way that they can. And so I want to let each and every one of you know, you better put on that full armor of God each and every day. So you may be able to withstand the wiles of the devil, okay? You'll be able to withstand it. But you got to first put it on. And it's not just in words, but in action also. I'm letting y'all know. All right. It's not just words. It's in action. And another thing, stop touching the devil's stuff. Okay. Stop sitting up all day. Watching porn and masturbating. Stop buying sex toys. Stop smoking drugs stop drinking alcohol stay out of these clubs okay leave his music alone all of the above even even if i didn't name it you know what you're doing you know what you're doing that's not pleasing to god okay so stop it that's what i'm telling you stop it repent okay Cause ain't no time I putting on the full armor of God and all of this when you out there horn your backs out, working and, and 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 in agreement with the kingdom of darkness yourself. And what armor you finna put on when you out there playing footsies with the devil yourself? No, you are gonna have to make a choice. You are gonna have to choose which side you gonna be on. All right, this is what it's coming down to. You can't have one foot in and one foot out. Make this choice today whom you're going to serve. Because I'm letting you know these dogs is going to pursue you into death. 
They're going to pursue you into death and you're going to have to face these dogs just about every day of your life on this earth in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Whether it be in your family, whether it be on the workplace, whether it be in your community, wherever, these dogs are everywhere, all right? They're mixed in amongst everybody else, okay? They're everywhere. And you need to know this, y'all. So ain't no time to be playing these games. Get right, stay right, okay? And make sure you doing your best to live a holy and righteous life. Because, baby, let me tell you, the Bible said, without holiness, no one shall see the Lord. I'm letting you know. So practice holiness. This should be a part of your daily life. All right. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.